Okay, so if you are a mom like me, you have been surviving on fruit snacks and snack packs for way too long. Hey friends, and welcome back to Sparkle and Grow. If you don't know me, my name is Jamie Wilkinson, and I am so excited to kick off the new year with a new health goal of mine. I'm really excited to talk about the ketogenic diet, which I began yesterday. Today is actually the second while I'm recording this, but it's a new year, um, I'm jumping on the health bandwagon and doing something healthy for myself. Um, my kids are, my youngest is nine and a half years old, you know, it is time, <laughs> it is time this mom like stop and tried to take her, care of herself for a minute. So <laughs> that is what we are going to be doing. I'm going to be kind of sharing my journey. I will still post other videos on my channel. I've been kind of really like with this whole new 2019 thing. I don't know. I've ne I've never really been as into New Year as I have this year. I found that um, the more into personal development and growth of myself that I have gotten over the last few years, the more into just like sharing my growth and I guess sharing my journeys I have been with you guys. So, um, or I've. I've the more I have been into sharing with you guys so that you guys can also have these opportunities to just learn and grow and just simply live more positively and be more happy um, where you're at and be more excited about growing whatever it is that you want to grow in the world or in life or in business. So um, I've really kind of looked at my Sparkle and Grow page and I know that I wanted to share more health stuff and I, it's a blog as well. It's a blog and a YouTube channel, it's both. And so, I knew I wanted to stay sharing health stuff because I'm kind of really I'm like like an earth hippie, you know. I like um, I like things that are natural and healthy, and it feels good. But I'm super human, you guys, and I am terrible at um, you know. I don't know. I shouldn't say I am terrible. I have been and am growing from being terrible at <laughs> being consistent, being more organized, um, just, I don't know, but all these things, I, I feel like I've come together and I've like grown so much in just learning how to manage a household, manage my kids, manage businesses, I work at home, you know, doing all of this sort of stuff um, has really pushed me in ways that just going out and having like a regular job, I guess, could never do. Um, I feel like when people are stuck in just a nine to five, I, mean, I shouldn't say that because I guess there's people that really love their jobs. And if you love your job, that is freaking amazing. And I'm so excited for you. But the majority of people out there grinding from nine to five and working for somebody else don't always love their job. So, um, I think just learning how to implement implement other ways to grow yourself and grow your income and grow your happiness and grow your health and you know we all want to live a long time and having kids especially has really you know I feel like kids sometimes as us moms you know sometimes we have like our extreme lows because we forget to take care of ourselves because we're so busy taking care of kids but I feel like there's also this period where if you like stop and you really like start taking care of yourself, not only are you suddenly taking care of everybody else better, but you're healthier and you start thinking like, man, I really wanna be there for my kids, you know? I wanna be there for their all, all their firsts, not just their first steps, but I wanna be there for their first dance and their graduations and I wanna be there for their first marriage and their first kids and their first, you know, I wanna be there, I wanna be nine, I wanna be 100, okay? I wanna be 100 years old someday and I want to live to that. So um, just taking care of ourselves is a huge piece of that and so I've been really researching the ketogenic diet and I have to be honest with you guys. I have to be super honest. I just was like, Meh. Like I did not believe that the ketogenic diet was a good thing, but I really didn't learn a lot about it. I really assumed 
that it was a lot like the Atkins diet. I really just assumed since it was low carb, I was like, this is like the Atkins diet. I remember all the heart health issues that people had. I remember all of that sort of stuff. And I really like took the time and I was like, okay, fine. I really want to learn more about this. I saw that vegans were doing the ketogenic diet. I saw that vegetarians, I am pescatarian. So that will be kind of my, I guess, twist on being able to share with you guys is I don't eat most meats, but I do eat fish and seafood. I still eat eggs and I still eat dairy. So I feel like I'm going to have a healthier take on the ketogenic diet. Maybe I can, you want to do moderate protein. So it's not like a high protein. That was a lot of the side effects of the Atkins diet was that people were in taking really crazy high protein. So with the ketogenic diet, you do still want to have moderate protein, but what it is is high fat instead of high sugar. And so basically your body burns fuel using sugar and carbohydrates typically because that's what the majority of our diet and quick energy is. It's why we get hungry faster because it burns through that so much faster than when it uses something like fat. Fat is actually an ideal fat source or ideal energy source for your body because I mean your brain itself is made mostly of fat. Um, so you can use fat and have energy for a lot longer than if you were burning carbohydrates and sugar um, as your main source. And so your body's so used to all these like quickie, easy snack packs and things now that it craves that stuff because it knows that it can get its energy now, it can get it fast, but it also means that you crash faster and you need to eat more. And so when you change your body into using your fat instead of your sugar intake, now you are basically teaching your body to use a source of energy that's going to last longer. You shouldn't be as hungry anymore. Um, I'm not going to say this first month is not going to be a transition. I have already been fighting with my coffee, okay, um, and what to put in it that I will actually like. I am a coffee snob. I am. I love my coffee a certain way. I've been drinking it the same way for years. I have not figured out the coffee. I tried the bulletproof coffee is that I'm still learning all these things but I tried the bulletproof coffee and it was nasty it was gross like I am not putting butter in my coffee I'm sorry that was just weird it was not my thing and um the half and half I'm totally into half and half I can put in there I went and got the stevia drops because everybody was like stevia stevia and I was like okay everybody's on stevia and monk fruit was the other one so I haven't tried just monk fruit that's the other thing. I need to go try just monk fruit. It's on my to-do list. But I got the stevia drops and it was nasty. Like in my coffee, it was so gross. Um, so I don't know if it was what I got. It was one of the extracts. And so, and then I, so I didn't like that. And I tried to go to the store this morning actually and get um, some monk fruit. Cause I heard that it's a one-to-one -one sugar substitute ratio. You know, it's the most best tasting because it's from a fruit I don't know but they friend the store near me Fred Meyer it didn't have it as just monk fruit there was like some packets of stevia monk fruit together and so I was like well I'll try some of these packets maybe the monk fruit will help out the stevia you guys it was so gross still so maybe I just don't like stevia so I'm still gonna hunt out hunt down some monk fruit substitute on its own by itself with no stevia in it because maybe it's the stevia I don't like I don't know but so far I just like cream in my coffee and I'm skipping the sugar because the taste of my coffee even just plain is way better than whatever stevia did so if you got tricks please <laughs> please leave your sweetener tricks in the comments Ugh, or if you know something about stevia that I don't like everybody told me how much they loved stevia. I did not. I don't know. Maybe I'm an oddball. Maybe you didn't either. Maybe, I don't know. It's just better without to me. So tell me what you do in the comments. I need your help. Seriously, I need your help. Um, <laughs> so, but it's been, it's been good. My husband is actually doing it with me. He probably won't get on video and share his updates like I do. So I will just update you on him as well. Um, but 
I mean, it's been one day into it, one and a half days. So, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, but, you know, eggs, cheese, avocado, um, high fat foods are really good. Um, coconut oil. I made a stir fry last night that was amazing. It had coconut oil and curry and vegetables. Um, and I used tofu and it was so, so good. My kids love tofu, um, especially if you cook it kind of crispy and then add all the vegetables in. I don't know. It was so delicious. So, um, you basically just don't put it over the rice, you know, eat that yummy food and the salads and you can have all the ranch dressing that you want as long as you don't have one that is sugar added. Read your labels. Um, so I don't know. I'm just beginning. It's a new year. It's 2019. Welcome to just kind of a more raw new version of my channel. I want to, you know, still do lots of um, informational videos if you're into more of my business stuff, but I kind of want to just like share my journey of going through keto. I took my before photos. I recently went to Mexico with my family and I took my before photos in my bikini. Those will not be shown until I have after photos, okay? <laughs> so um, stay tuned and follow my journey if you want to see the before photos because I gotta create the after photos. <laughs> so this will be really fun and interesting though. I'm going to be creating lots of tutorials. If you are starting keto for the new year, make sure you follow because I'm gonna just be sharing everything that I learn and experience through doing keto. I'm also going to, um, you know, maybe share some recipes and I don't know, tips, tricks, information. You know, I like info videos too, so I'll do some of those. And what else? I don't know. But make sure that you subscribe to my channel because this is going to be an amazing 2019 and I'm really excited to take you along this journey with me because I have honestly not really lost um, any weight since I've had kids besides birthing the child, you know, like, <laughs> so I'm really excited to really focus on this. And the only thing that I've ever seen kind of make a difference before was reducing my sugar. So that will make it super interesting um, that I'm following diet plan that really restricts your sugar and tricks your body basically into start burning the fat instead of the sugar. So that's the fuel source that we're gonna give our bodies an abundance of so that it doesn't want to use the sugar so that it's like, oh, fat is a readily available fuel source, healthy fats. Um, and we'll see how it goes and how it works. Oh, I got this really rad book. I'll share all this as I go. It's only the first day I'm doing a video with you guys. So this is part one of my journey. Hello, learning stage. I got this really great um, pescatarian keto book. I'll put it in the comments um, and hopefully I'll talk about it again soon because I actually really am excited to cook from it. Um, and then I might try some external ketones. I haven't um, tried them yet, but I've heard good things about them. A lot of people like them. Some people think they're silly, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna give them a shot. I'll give a link to the ones that everybody has been raving about that I'm probably going to try in the com or in the description as well. Not in the comments, you guys leave me comments. I will leave you info in the description. I'll leave you a comment too, why not? <laughs> so I hope you guys have amazing goals. I wanna know your goals too. Are you doing keto? Are you doing a diet? Are you exercising? Are you doing something totally different? Are you getting organized? I need to get organized too. So um, I have been reading the magical, is it the magical art? I don't know, the magical art of tidying up. Every YouTuber and their dogs have recommended this book. So I jumped on that train too, and I'm listening to the audiobook version, and I've heard lots of amazing tips. I just have to create action and actually utilize the tips. So <laughs> that's the hard part of goals. It's so easy to learn, it's so hard to do. Um, but we're gonna do this. So follow along, I already said that a thousand and one times, and I will be so stoked to see you in the new year, and all the new stuff that we have. It's a new year. Let's do new stuff. It's always new. <laughs> so, but I love you guys. I'm excited to do this keto diet and I would love any tips, love any advice. I mean, really, this is day one. So this is just my call for added help. Tell me what you know in the comments. And I will be trying to share at least once a week kind of where I'm at, what I've been eating, what I've been doing, what my results have been, what I need to go weigh myself. 
Um, I think I'm around 168 things that are super fun to share online. Your weight, let's have a weight sharing. This is like truth or dare, right? Truth or dare, what's your weight? <laughs> I think I was about 168 last I checked, but I'm gonna recheck, I'm pretty sure I'm somewhere around there. Um, and I don't usually weigh myself when I do health things. Um, I don't always like the number on the scale, but I think it's important when I'm sharing with you guys just so that we have a reference because I just because I know the keto diet specifically is supposed to be insane and magic for weight loss so let's see if it works on me and if I feel healthier if I have more energy if I feel dead if I get bad breath apparently that might be a symptom I got good mouthwash though um <laughs> and keep your vegetables up and drink lots of water that's what I heard the secret is there so I'm looking forward to it. I will see you guys super soon in my next video to update you on how my first week went and stay tuned. Talk to you later. Ta-ta.